Shalom and we're so glad that you are here joining us in another series of Living Supernaturally. Today we come to one of the last responses of how we could deal with adversity. Through the last many days, we've learned of how Joseph responded to situations, to his adverse situations. And we come to look at one of the last things as we come to the end of his story. We read and we saw that Joseph was made the head steward of the two officials. And we see through the account that both these officials had dreams which Joseph interpreted. And one of the officials remembers Joseph after two years when Pharaoh has a dream. And then Joseph was bought in front of Pharaoh in humility and faith in God and he interprets Pharaoh's dream. The crux of the dream, as we know, is that the land of Egypt was to face seven years of abundance followed by seven years of famine. Pharaoh, hearing Joseph, makes a decision and appoints Joseph to oversee the food supplies of Egypt and makes him second in command. Now, much had happened since Joseph rose to power. The seven years of abundance went by and we are taken into the seven years of famine. Now, in the midst of these seven years of famine, we see Joseph's brothers come seeking for food. Now, through a series of events, Joseph attempts to see if his brothers have changed and he runs a series of tests over them. And finally, Joseph's, Joseph reveals himself to his brothers. At the end of this, the years of pain dissolves in a moment of joy where he weeps over his brothers uncontrollably and Joseph declares this. He says in Genesis 50, 20, But as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good in order to bring it about as it is to this day to save many people alive. How does Joseph respond here? He responds to his brother and says that I was sent here for a greater good. Joseph responds by keeping his eyes on God and not on his situation. So much so that he states that even though the brothers meant things for evil, God had worked it out for a greater good because it, Joseph was in the right place to provide and give and help his brothers when they were at a time of famine. In all of this that Joseph went through, he was still able to see the hand of God, to know that God worked all things for a greater good. Joseph was able to see that God was able to accomplish something greater than his adversity. As you and I keep pressing on, you will see that God will make something beautiful out of our adversity. Your adversity will one day be a transforming one where there will be a greater good. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we pray you give us the eyes of faith to know that even through our hardship, our difficulties, our affliction, you are crafting a greater good, a greater purpose, much beyond what we can see, much beyond what we can know. May we stay the course, completely focusing our eyes on you. Thank you for your encouragement in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.